Peter, in today's world, the uh, so-called conflict between evolution and theology has largely been dissipated um, with, uh, with the vast majority of, uh, of, of believers uh, that they accept evolution. Um, the question is, of course, if there is a God and evolution is true, uh, what is the nature of evolution? Uh, is it something that God created at the beginning, the laws, so that it, the, the apparent randomness would teleologically end up in human beings? Uh, or does God have to intervene every so often, uh, which is obviously more of a, of, of, uh, of, of, of less of, of, of uh, a scientific and intellectual uh, approach? Um, and so w what I'd like to understand is if, if we have, if we believe firmly in evolution and we believe firmly that there is a God in theology, what are the questions now do we ask if we believe firmly in both? Well, suppose that God is, as many theologians have supposed, outside time. So he can just look at a whole four-dimensional um, universe and choose it and say, there's a distribution of matter and radiation in space-time. Let it be. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, obviously, everything in the Darwinian theory of evolution is uh, going to be true in a world that was a duplicate. A, a, a duplicate as, as regards to the distribution of matter and radiation in space-time of this one. If evolution is true in this world, it would be true in that world. Therefore, he could make a world if an omnipotent being could make a world in which the distribution of matter and radiation in space-time is the way it actually is, uh, then presumably he's made a world in which Darwinian evolution is true. Um, so there is no problem uh, that I can see. But lots of the problems arise when you have people like Stephen Jay Gould who want to find an inconsistency. They offer arguments for them. They talk about the vast amount of contingency mm -hmm. in history, say is, um, it is very unlikely that you would end up with people like us uh, in a Darwinian world. Um, oddly enough, this, the idea that it's very unlikely that you would end up with people like us is used as an argument against the existence <laughs> right. uh, of right. God. But, uh, uh, but I think that the possibility I give answers that. But you don't need to be four-dimensional. Any kind of determinism will do, because all God has to do would be to um, adjust the positions of uh, elementary particles coming out of the Big Bang in just the right way. Well, maybe the world isn't deterministic. Uh, maybe even it's chaotic. You know, in that case, he would have to be more directly involved in the evolutionary process. But there isn't anything in the theory that says God isn't involved in the process. Well, all the theory says is that any mutation, the probability of its occurring, is not determined by its future um, benefits or deleteriousness uh, to the species it's in. It's in. It just depends on molecular mechanics and it's independent of uh, any advantages that might accrue to having it. Um, God could certainly guide evolution in a way that respected that principle. Um, so, in the end, I'm, I'm inclined to think that there, the idea that there is any such inconsistency is um, an illusion. Does it matter if, if God set the uh, rules uh, and laws in order by manipulating the, the uh, constants of physics so that it would turn out this way, or it is what it is and that God intervenes every so often, however much he likes, in the process? Is there, is there any purchase uh, in, in making that differentiation? Well, which would you like better, a flower that is a perfect biochemical mechanism and operates according to a beautiful, simple set of laws of nature, or one which is propped up by continual miracles <laughs> inside it. 
by God. I would think a nice, smooth, natural history mm-hmm. um, would be nicer uh, than a world that where our evolutionary history contains countless trillions of uh, tiny miracles. Mm-hmm. Um, still, if the only way to get it is countless uh, um, bit, trillions of tiny miracles, maybe um, it would still be better to have it than not. 